Hello everyone, welcome to Fun Brigades. Today we are with the president of Feeding Southwest Virginia, Pamela. Hi Pamela, I'm Jimmy Delgado and this is Kat Pascal, the founder of Fun Brigesa. And Pamela, tell us a little bit about Feeding Southwest Virginia, please. Well, Feeding Southwest Virginia um, is celebrating 40 years this year. And it's hard to believe um, 40 years ago, our organization was started to help um, find food um, across the country and regionally and redirect that food to establish, implement, and to support a charitable food distribution system. Awesome, thank you, Pamela, for sharing that with us. We would love if you could share with us a little story or something that Feeding Southwest Virginia does that's unique to you all and how you could impact or how you do impact the community currently. currently. Yes, so um, thank you for asking that question. Chris, we serve 26 counties and the poorest counties um, in our state. And so it's been very challenging over the years to find ways to um, be able to identify and find food insecure individuals and then be able to create a system of deployment to reach all those individuals. But we've done some recent work that's very progressive and innovative and creative. Uh, for example, our Cafe to Grow um, foodie truck for children was launched in 2017 and basically it goes into low-income communities and to the libraries and other after-school and summer um, sites to provide fresh nutritious meal to children and the children get to have a choice one of two meals. Um, I wanted to provide choice. I felt if they had a choice then it would influence what they would consume um, later on in their life. And so I remember a particular time and particularly with that program, when we rolled up to an after school program and the children see the truck coming, so they all run to it and they're so excited. And the little boy um, raced up to the window and wanted to know what we had that day. And um, just the biggest smile I've ever seen, I think he said, oh boy, meatloaf and mashed potatoes. I love meat, meatloaf and mashed potatoes. So. We've done a lot of work around feeding children recently. Um, and we also have um, uh, deployed emergency response during the pandemic. Um, and we've um, been able to um, establish and uh, hold a 25 pop-up distribution, which means we go into a community with um, over 20,000 pounds of food, a tractor trailer load of food unloaded. We work with uh, community partners in the community and um, we are able to put the food in the trunks of the individuals. And we've served over 23,000 people since March through that program alone. Most of our work is through 360 nonprofit feeding partners that feed the ill, elderly, children and disadvantaged. But our great work that we've done with you um, during the pandemic has been at our Community Solutions Center in Roanoke uh, City on Melrose. And um, we've been able to implement some direct feeding program one, which includes children and of course, um, the other families and seniors. And so we've just been so grateful to be able to look at different ways during these tough times that we can partner with the corporate business and particularly with restaurants and with um, the generosity of, um, of your company and be able to provide fresh nutritious food, but meals cooked for individuals that um, give um, those families not just food, but hope and make them feel special. Absolutely. Wow, what an amazing thing that Feeding in Southwest Virginia is doing in their community and with our elderly and our children in the community. I think it takes a village to, to build our community up and I think that you all are doing an amazing job. We are super grateful and, and adamant with the program and, and vision that you all have. And so we're pr proud partners and proud corporate sponsors. So we are excited um, for Farmer Guest of Gifts because Farmer Gifts and Gifts give, will give back a portion of our sales to Feeding Southwest Virginia to benefit uh, programs that you just mentioned. Um, did you want to say anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, so that's amazing. It's, it's good to hear all these stories. And, uh, and, and uh, Feeding Southwest Virginia, it 
really touched my heart personally uh, because when I was in high school, I was one of those kids that didn't have a meal besides what I had in high school. So it really gets, it touched me personally. So can you share with us um, how can people find you? What is your website and what they can do to help? And thank you for sharing your story. I too had a, a, um, I have a story, a personal story as a young um, mother. Um, my husband and I didn't make a lot of money and, and so it, our, our resources are very limited to feed our own family. So I come from that journey and that's my passion. But people can find us on our website at www feeding, F-E-E-D-I-N-G, S-W-V-A dot org. And it's, um, our website has been refreshed and relaunched. And so if they can find us there, they can call us at 540-342-3011. And we're also on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all those social media opportunities where people can actually find us and hear um, more about us and read and learn more about us. Thank you, Pamela, for being here with us today. We are so excited and grateful for the time that you spent with us uh, sharing about Feeding Southwest Virginia. We invite everybody to come out to Farmer Gives Tuesdays, and that's March 9th. So both locations actually participate. That's our Roanoke and Benton locations. So a portion of our sales and profits will go over to Feeding Southwest Virginia on March 9th. Well, thank you again. We are very thankful for the time spent here. So we'll see everybody on March 9th. Thank you. And I thank you so very much.